The opposition parties are calling for action to be taken against the two former executives of the state owned and controlled NCN who are alleged to have been involved in financial irregularities. It has been months since the auditors had recommended that action be taken against the former NCN CEO and production manager who are at the center of the financial fallout at the state owned company. Now the opposition parties say that they are led to believe that because the two individuals have political ties, the ruling party is reluctant to do so. AFC executive member Cathy Hughes at a press briefing on Thursday said the delay by the president to take action is a clear case of the highest level of executive lawlessness. This is the highest level of executive lawlessness. The deposit of company monies into a personal bank account is not an allegation. There is evidence that this fraudulent transaction did take place. In any other society, those responsible would have, be, would have been behind bars by now. For the president to sit on the report from the audit firm while the perpetu perpetrators are being paid by the company, or as it appears, allowed to go free, places the president in a position where he is clearly condoning executive lawlessness. When the NCN financial revelations hit the press, the auditors were called in and recommended the immediate dismissal of the two senior officials. The auditor's report was sent to President Donald Ramatar and he's still to take action, and that is some eight months after. Gulsaran has been suspended since last June, while Chief Executive Officer Mohamed Sattar tendered his resignation, which was accepted by the NCN board. Reporting for Capital News, Morrison Drakes.